You know her for things like this. And things like this. Her teammates take notice of her range uh, and her ability to break down her defender. She's a beast. She's one you can count on. Confident, risky, very energetic. She brings life to not only this team, but to the entire event center when she plays. She's Bearcat senior and America East player of the year, Kai Moon. Moon finished the regular season averaging 20.4 points per game, tops in the conference and 11th in the nation. In her first three years, she averaged just 10.8 points per game. So what's the difference this year? I think my mentality has been the biggest thing and knowing this is my last year that I'll be playing basketball, uh, I push myself so much harder in the off season to, to get to where I am. She is so competitive and it's contagious. And her and our other seniors have done such a great job that every drill, it's people, they get mad when they lose. They want to you know, run it back in everything they do. And that competitiveness really has, has shown. She hustles, she fights, she gets up there, rebounds. She's not afraid to go against a big body post or anything like that. And defensively, she gets in there, she scraps. She's diving all over the place. She's getting in there. She's, she's not afraid for the contact. She's not afraid to get little bumps, bruises, scrapes. You know, we like that. We like, we like to show our hard work through bruises and scratches. Falling in love with basketball at a young age, it was at home that she found the source of her drive. Growing up, my dad is very competitive and I could, he could probably tell you I've quit basketball 17 times going and work out with him because he's always just pushed me maybe farther than I wanted to be pushed. Uh, but I always never want, I always came back because I never wanted to be seen as somebody who just gave up and let somebody get to me. Her success in games is only made possible because of countless hours of practice and individual work when no one's watching. But with a college basketball season that effectively runs from July through March, even after four years, it's not always easy. It's hard, and especially now at this point in the season, you know, your body wears down, and I think that's probably the biggest reason why it can wear on you mentally. This is every day. Now, this being my fourth year, I think I've built my body up enough to kind of sustain this, um, but it's also about training your mind to know, like freshman year, this wasn't the same guy that, you know, you saw. Uh, it was a struggle at times, and it's still a struggle now, but I think I've managed it a lot better. In her first two years, Moon was in the shadow of Binghamton's all-time leading scorer, Imani Watkins. As a junior, Moon was limited to only 19 games due to injury. But that time spent on the bench last year gave her the chance to learn from the coaching staff, which in turn allowed her to show her full potential this year. But even at her 20.4 points per game in the regular season, she's more than just a scorer. She knew uh, what other teams were going to do to her, so she knew she had to continue to work, work on her game. That's the focus of a lot of the season has been that I score points, but I think it's a matter of understanding that when to be assertive, uh, when to just let the game come to me. I think there's been times where I, I felt like maybe I did have to force things because I was being played a lot differently this year than I have in years past. It's, it's pretty relieving knowing that we can trust Kai to drop 20 a game, but also look to find her open teammates and contribute in every other way possible. Even if Kai doesn't fill up the stat sheet, she's contributing to the win no matter what. Her leadership skills are undeniable, and she's a huge part of this team. We wouldn't be who we are without her. That's why we're so successful, because we're not locked in on ourselves, we're not worried about ourselves. And, you know, she's still scoring 20 plus points a game because she's doing all those little things. Um, you know, she's cutting hard. And whether or not she's having the best scoring night, yeah, she'll have those assists or yeah, she'll have those steals. So she's finding ways to work within the stat line, um, whether it's points, rebounds, steals, assists, but that's, that's what makes us so successful. She's not open, she's making the extra pass. More so mentally, I have to understand the value that I bring to the game with just maybe the poise that I have as a leader 
my, my passing ability defensively. I always feel like if you're not producing the way you want offensively, defensively, you can always make a huge impact in the game. So I try to do all of those things and realize it doesn't matter if I score or not. It's, it's what I bring to the team, the intangibles, that probably also make me the focal point of a lot of scouting reports, even if those aren't things that are written down statistically. Those intangibles, hard work, dedication, the ability to control a game, things she learned by watching and emulating NBA legends Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. I always wanted to be the best one. That wasn't always the case, but I, I always wanted to be the, the one that had the respect of, of my teammates and even people on the other team. I don't listen to what people say, but I can definitely tell if someone's challenging me uh, during a game, and I try to meet that challenge uh, every time.